Welcome to another week of All 22 Tuesday, a collaboration between First Down Playbook, the Coaching Coordinator Podcast, the Scouting Academy, and FNF Coaches. We got some great plays to take a look at this week. On this particular play, we're going to focus on a little bit of the Jimmys and Joes, and joining us on that portion of it is Dan Hatman from the Scouting Academy. Dan, it's great to have you back here in week three. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Charlie, I'll give you the setup of the play, and uh, we'll get going here. Yeah, uh, Dan pointed this one out, and, and he's looking at Alvin Kamara here. And uh, once again, that's going to be uh, – he's always special. But the situation here is 27-20, Green Bay, first and 10, third quarter with a minute to go. And as we all know, this was a heck of a football game. Every, every play uh, that happened here toward the end was important. And so you've got a situation where it looks like to me they're running the play action – uh, pass with uh, kind of an old 89 concept. You got the, you know, the post going down the middle and uh, the X coming across. We've all seen that run a lot. But what happens is Breeze has to come down with the ball to Kamara. And so uh, as we take a look at it here, we're going to, uh, Dan's going to analyze all the physical traits that are Al Alvin Kamara. But also we want to take a look at the center, uh, the tight end coming back across for protection. And also uh, the rookie, Marquez Callaway, number 12, uh, coming across the field here and then getting back in front because this is something that we can teach and learn from at every level of football. We're talking about effort right here, and this is uh, about as good as I've ever seen, really, at the NFL level or any level. So let's take a look at the video. So as you had talked about, the play action here, you know, Drew sets up. He doesn't really have anything, so he's going to come down here to Kamara and right away – it stands out to me with the way Kamara works to catch this ball. He's got a defender bearing down on him. And instead of just being stationary, waiting for that ball to come all the way in and potentially being tackled right there for very little gain, he goes and he attacks that. And he gets his body moving upfield as he goes to the catch point, which increases the chances here of him actually avoiding that tackle. Then he has the unbelievable balance to get through that the acceleration to get away from Ty Summers, 44 there. And then this next phase, as you mentioned, the center there, 78, McCoy. This is a fascinating deal because you'll see guys in the open field, and, man, they turn on the afterburners, and they're just going for green grass. And right away, Kamara shows an awareness here of the bigger picture, and he feels his teammate coming here, and instead of just blowing by him and running himself into two Packers defenders – he waits. He patiently waits for McCoy to come up here, block the first man, and now it's him and 23 Alexander one-on-one. -on -one. And again, you're going to see a squared-up hit. And Kamara, when we talk about contact balance, you might as well put him in the dictionary with it. He is such a hard player to bring down because even when you throw a blow at him, he lands on his feet. He's like a cat falling out of a tree. And off he goes, waits for 89, waits for 12, as you mentioned, and he's in the end zone. Dan, that's a great point. Right about right, he makes that one miss. But about here, you know, a lot of guys would have taken off down that sideline and, and figured, well, 78's never going to get out there in front of me. But he did, and he, and he let him. That's a big deal. It's a really big deal. That, that that's patient. A I'm sorry, Dan, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying the patience, but no, absolutely, Keith. Yeah, the, 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 just the football instinct, right? Because, Charlie, you draw these plays up all day, and, and this is not on the drawing, right? This is nope. stuff that happens after the play. At, at some point, those, those lines expire, and guys got to make plays, and, and this is the instincts, the football IQ of, of the center, of Kamara, of some of these other guys just getting down the field and doing the things that they need to do. Here's a receiver coming all the way from the boundary, all the way up past the numbers, all the way back down. Here he is, here he is. All you young players out there, when the coach is on you, you know, never quit on the play. I mean, that without those blocks now, uh, you know, I'm not sure Alvin Kamara scores here, even if he is Alvin Kamara. He might. He might because he makes about three miss himself. But start looking at the number of people they get out in front. So what a lesson, regardless if you're coaching Pop Warner, if you're coaching high school, college, or whatever. I mean, these are the best in the business. And uh, – Carmichael and Peyton and those guys at New Orleans are going to be running that over and over in their meetings uh, this week, even though they lost. I mean, they're going to be talking about, if we do this, we're going to have a chance to win a lot of football games. And I believe they're right. 
Be sure to join us each week throughout the NFL season for All 22 Tuesday. All 22 Tuesday is brought to you by First Down Playbook, the number one football playbook tool for coaches at all levels of football. Edit any of our 35,000 plays or draw your own from scratch. All plays come with detailed coaching points and player assignments for every position. Keith Grabowski is the host of Coach and Coordinator Podcast. He interviews the most knowledgeable head coaches, coordinators, and position coaches from professional, college, and high school football. Keith and his guests discuss the philosophy, concepts, schemes, and strategies that they have learned throughout their careers. The Scouting Academy teaches you how to scout like a pro. Learn from NFL executives and coaches about the process of scouting from your home on your schedule. The Scouting Academy has 40 alumni with NFL opportunities and over 130 in college football. Friday Night Football Coaches is the platform for high school football coaches. FNF Coaches delivers content to the high school football coaching community through its website, print magazine, and other digital platforms. Links to all websites can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for joining us for this week's All 22 Tuesday, and we will see you next week.